has fit in nicely. This is Jermaine Samuels off to Gillespie. Daniels and Caleb Daniels opens the scoring with a three. This is pretty much everybody back from that team. There's Justin Moore, the second year Wildcat. And Moore hits a triple Hawks on the board. Cole Swider first off the bench for Villanova. And Cole Swider rattles home a three on his first touch. Here's Moses Flowers, 24 points, and Hartford's opener against UConn, and his miss is stuck back. Freshman Thomas Webley. Feels like it, I'm chill. Haven't seen fresh air in a couple of days. Probably, probably from the poor shooting from BYU last game. Ooh. Spinorama, Hunter Marks. Something. Instead, I'm just talking about how easy it is. Well, that's why we're here, because we can make it sound easy. Those who cannot do talk. Dixon. And Dixon is fouled. This will be a chance for a three-point play. Demand greatness. I, I do demand greatness. Unfortunately, my team is 5-5-1. Five, five, and one. I have a tie somehow. Here's Webley with a flip in. Thomas Webley. 6'10", 240, Webley. That's the list price anyway. Dixon. Spins around and scores. That's high level for Eric Dixon. Samuels back on the floor. Inside Dixon again. Eric Dixon leads the way with seven. Quarters of the world market. That's the challenge. I'm always surprised when you find a guy from a small town in the middle of wherever, let alone New Zealand. Club ball. It's a little bit more of a controlled environment. You're learning from the older guys that you're around. John Gallagher, he, he did say, too, you know, you get players who are from Europe and Australia, international players on campus. And Gillespie just scored his first basket. Wildcats fourth game in the bubble. Tracy Carter. Because you got to switch. You got to switch that gave your garden an advantage. And when Dixon dropped off, you just pull the shot if you're Carter. And frankly, that's what Virginia Tech did very well. They, they recognize switches. Talent, Kent, Kentucky, and Duke. Guys have to grow up quickly. That's just, it's a challenge. I think this is the year where experience may win out. A three for Justin Moore. Look polished before you'd expect him to look polished. I want to see young guys develop quicker because this is a short season. It's in Indianapolis. Come <laughs> meet us halfway. <laughs> you seem like you'll take a game. Yeah. Justin Moore powers his way in. He's got 10. Team shooting the free throws, so that was cleaned up. The foul was charged to Moore, number five. It is his first. Swider. And Cole Swider off the bench has hit a couple of threes already. Dunk on anybody. I mean, he's not that physical type of player, but he wants to shoot. You got to take that away. Carter over Swider. Tracy Carter elevates and scores. What about you? Moore. Moore hits a three. He's got a Baker's dozen early on. That's made that played an entire season together last year, but. How long does it take, even with the same group of pieces, Sands one? He's a pretty good one. At least he got me to stop that. <laughs> it took a week. Gillespie for three. Yes! Opportunity to get to the open spot, and that's exactly what Colin Gillespie did. The open spot is just not, not where you're open to get a shot. It's where you're open to receive a pass. Twice with Marquette, way back in the 2015-16 season, doing up his national championship year. Two years ago with LaSalle, here with Hartford. Samuels creates space with a shot fake. Takes it in for two. Hunter Marks. That's a three right in front of the Villanova bench. Tough one-footed fadeaway over Samuels. And Justin Moore grabs the rebound. Moore led Villanova with 13. Samuels on the kick for Moore. And when you force that tough shot, you happen to be the guy trailing the play. You step into an open three. Carter trying to force contact, and instead, he switches it home. Old man game, it'll be the guy in his sixth year of college ball. That's what I'm saying. 
On the step by the Marist transfer, Austin William. Carter got the switch with Robinson Earl steps inside. Yeah, I just I'd like to understand what that means. I think it's pretty simple. The last beat for three Big Ten championship game. Didn't Paul Feinbaum have an idea about that? Just go ahead and change it. I heard him today. It was great. He just said, you know what? You already changed it. Were their two best scorers? The other two players, John Gallagher said, had to play well to have any chance today. Again, this is a Hartford team that's posted a winning record three years in a row in the American East. A lot of those stories where you seniors, great opportunity, and just couldn't finish the season. Villanova, by the way, has now taken 12 consecutive shots. With the fundamental things like a sit down, be strong legs, obviously not skipping leg day. There's a lot of things in there that they're trained to be the best version of themselves on this basketball floor. I mean, when you look at Villanova, you're talking about their physical strength. It, is it too simple to say it's you know, whatever's going on in the weight training and the condition? Five from deep against Virginia Tech on Saturday. 12 for 28 tonight. Dixon, his first bucket of the second half. Samuels all the way. Jermaine Samuels with a jam. Michael Dunn with a three, a junior out of Matawan, New Jersey. <laughs> Carter for three. He's going to lay out. <laughs> Say today, a couple of years ago, and, you know, coming out party is a little strong. This is a game Villanova should win against Hartford, but after a player did well against Williams. And a rare offensive rebound for Hartford, Moses Flowers. Mm. Moses Flowers, first bucket of the game. He bonds, I need a, bit, a better bench. We're all together as a team. We're building this dynamic. I think they're all good things, but you want to see the response to a little bit of adversity when the expert four already for Villanova. New home court. They say this is their last game of the ball. Samuel sends it in. His second jam of the half. That was always like my favorite, the echoey gyms of the yeah. hardwood bleachers. You remember Vin Baker well? Yeah, I do. Long career in the NBA, long time with the Bucks and Supersonics. Guys with size who step out and shoot. Guys with size who can handle it. Kind of your point fours, right? Colin Gillespie Banks actually got to play yeah. in the game. Eric Dixon, a chance for a three-point play. Leading score right now for Villanova. Moore and Swider each with 13. Slater has knocked down as many. I thought it was a pretty simple question, I didn't, but you know, I appreciate that you took the time to formulate a thoughtful answer. Yeah, I'm patient like that. <laughs> Coastal Carolina yeah. this weekend. Liberty, Coastal Carolina. I think it's cool. Yeah. New spot for game day. First time at the bench. Slater with 13. Three is good for D.J. Mitchell. It may have been retired, though. Were you ever a participant in martial arts where you received a symbolic belt of a color? No, no, I wasn't. It's was never a ninja. I don't think a white belt is one of them. It is. I mean, how many, like, 10-year-olds, you know, they're like, oh, I'm going for my black belt. And I'm like, I can take you. It's the weirdest thing to think, but... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm glad you call it out. It's a very weird thing to think. That but you, it's the first a thing grown you think. man could like that. Good move. Interesting. I mean, we got a two hour window to fill here for the programming, folks. I thought we'd keep it going. Hartford was so close to the NCAA tournament last year, right on the doorstep before the season was canceled. It'll be a contender in the America East this year. John Gallagher's building a nice program in Hartford. But for today, it is a Villanova win. Jay Wright and the Wildcats will exit the bubble with a 3-1 and one record.